Hi all, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing Microsoft Defender in a bit more depth. We're going to be looking at Microsoft Defender's network protection capabilities, which is going to be covering the likes of web content filtering, as well as indicators of compromise. Let's look at web content filtering as a service initially. What is web content filtering? It's, it's web protection within Microsoft Defender. It provides capability for both endpoint and Microsoft Defender for business. It enables your organization to track and regulate access to websites based on their third, third party content categories. With this, we need to look at the prerequisites for web content filtering. Okay. Web content filtering as a service, as well as indicators compromise, both support native Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It helps prote protect devices from internet based events and it expands the scope of smart screen for your organization. Okay. With network protection, we need to make sure it's enabled from a UI perspective. If we scroll down on the left hand side, we click settings, we select endpoints, we can see a scope here for general advanced features there should be an option once we scroll down for custom network indicators we want to make sure that's set to on or an, or in an enabled state within the settings and we want to scroll down slightly more and we want to make sure web content filtering is in an enabled state as well or on our on status with that, we made sure from a UI, a UI perspective, web content filtering as well as, as well as indicators of compromise is enabled. We then look at our operating system. We're currently on a Windows machine, so that's supported. As we touched upon, Mac OS and Linux is, all, is also supported from, from that perspective. Next thing is making sure our antivirus is deployed. From an antivirus perspective, you would you would access endpoint.microsoft.com and select on the protection pane and just make sure you've deployed the native Microsoft antivirus. That must be in an active state. Real-time protection is set to cloud delivered. And with that, make sure they're, they're deployed to the appropriate machines. You're targeting the indicators compromise and um, uh, web content filtering too. Once they are deployed successfully, um, network protection should be in an enabled state on your PC locally from a registry perspective. You can check that by opening up registry or registry edit. Once you're in registry edit, you follow HKey local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, and then Windows Defender. Within here, you'll see an option for policy manager. You do exp expand that landscape there, and you will see a register key for enable network protection. You want to make sure that's set to one, which means it's on and configured correctly. So once we've once we've verified and validated our prerequisites are in place in terms of operating system, antivirus, as well as licensing. From a licensing perspective, you can acquire the likes of Microsoft 365 Business Premium, uh, which includes the likes of Defender for Business or a Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 or Plan 2 in this case. If we minimize this screen, we can scroll to settings once more, endpoints, and scroll down on the left hand side you'll see both indicators and web content filtering. Okay. From web content filtering perspective, we can restrict categories. If that's gambling sites, social media, you would create, you'd press create policy, select test. And there's a whole, whole range of categories you can block. Adult content, high bandwidth, legal liability, leisure, and uncategorized. select either one. You then select next, next and then you can scope this to either all devices, a device group which you can create within the um, org settings as well as selecting all for, um, for, for, for all users. 
maybe web content filtering is not specific enough in terms of what you would like to restrict within your organization. Then you would use the likes of indicators of which you can specify file hashes. So this could be um, local files within your on your machine. IP addresses range from IPv4 to IPv6, as well as URLs and domains. Maybe it's a particular social media site you don't want your users accessing, then you can restrict the particulars. Please bear in mind that there is usually a two hours latency between updating in this UI and it reflecting on the end client's machine. Um, so, so, so please don't be deferred when you do create a policy and deploy it or scope it to a set of users or devices and it doesn't reflect straight away. It does take two hours. There are a few limitations in terms of um, network protection within Microsoft Defender. It doesn't uh, currently support SSL inspection, which might result in some, some sites being allowed by web content filtering that would normally be blocked. If you are using Microsoft 365 Business Premium or Defender for Business, you can define one web, one, one web content filtering policy for your environment. That policy will apply to all users by default. They're just a few of the known limitations. And I hope I hope you learned something from this session. Um, if there are any sessions you would like to see, please let me know. Um, and I'll be more than happy to um, try and create that content and answer your questions. Thank you.